Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we have a quick walkthrough tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be installing and configuring remote desktop services in Windows Server 2022. Now we're also gonna be releasing tutorials for this in the future for older versions of Windows Server. So definitely stay tuned for those. Now before we get started, if you're interested in purchasing RDS for your server, we offer those at a fraction of the normal cost and you can find links for that in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're here on the computer and all right, so here we are on Windows Server 2022. Got my server manager pulled up here. And the first thing that we can do to get this started is we're gonna click on manage. We're gonna click add roles and features and we'll press next. Now for this next part here, um, we can actually check on remote desktop services installation. It's only gonna let you do that if you already have an active directory domain currently set up, which I do not. And so for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna set this up and configure it solely for this machine. And there's gonna be no other servers involved, um, but the rest of the steps should be pretty much the same. So I'm gonna keep it at role-based feature installation. We're gonna press next, make sure our server is selected. Press next again. And then here it says remote desktop services. This is gonna be unchecked for you. So go ahead and check this box and press next. And then underneath remote desktop services, this will actually probably be on the next page for you. I only have these three checked. Uh, you need these two to get RDS to work. And then I went ahead and installed this third feature down here at the bottom as well. So we'll do that. We're gonna leave everything else default. So click next all the way through and press install. Uh, it's gonna take a few minutes there and then you'll restart your server. So I'll see you guys once you finish that. So once you've installed the features necessary for RDS to work, you're gonna need to sign into your account as an administrator. So make sure that you sign in with the username administrator or that you have administrative authority. Go ahead and sign into the server. And at this point, we can click on tools and then next to remote desktop services, this is where we can activate our license. So by default, you'll get 120 days of, of kind of like a trial period where RDS will work. And it's definitely recommended that you install a valid license before that 120 days is over. Again, check out those links in the description box below if you haven't purchased it already. Now, if we were gonna activate it, we can click on Remote Desktop Licensing Manager here. And then right-clicking on the server, we can click on Activate Server. Click Next here automatic connection. And then if you input your information here, uh, follow along with the setup wizard and you can go ahead and get this activated. All right, moving on to the next step, we're gonna actually configure some user accounts here. So we'll click tools and we'll go to computer management. Click the arrow next to local users and groups. We're gonna click on users. Now I'm gonna add a couple of users in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and press new user. Call this user Gabriel. We're gonna set a strong password. And then we're gonna keep this first option here checked for this first user and we'll press create. Now we're gonna create another user. We're gonna call this one John. Again, enter and confirm password. And then for this one, we're gonna uncheck this box and we're gonna check the middle two options. So user cannot change password and password never expires. Again, we'll press create. And we're gonna click down to the groups folder now and we're gonna click on remote desktop users. We're gonna double click that. We're gonna click add here. We'll go to advanced. Click on find now. And we wanna go find those two users that we just created. So there's one. And looking for John. There he is, press control, click on that. And we'll press okay. So we can see here that we added Gabriel and John. We'll press okay. Down here, we're gonna press apply, and then we'll press okay. And at this point, we can go ahead and close this down and I'll close the server manager as well. And then let me just minimize this so you guys can see. Okay, so we're on the client machine now, which is my main Windows 11 desktop. We're gonna press the Windows key and R together. We're gonna to type MSTSC and we'll press okay. And then this is gonna pull up RDS on the client machine. So if we click down to show options, here you're gonna to wanna to enter the username of the account. In this case, it's J-O-N John. We know that's our username. And then in the computer box, we have the IP address of our server. So we're gonna press connect. And then we're gonna put in that password that we created just a few minutes ago, and we'll press okay. 
Here we'll click yes. And just like that, we have successfully connected to the server via remote desktop services. So I can close this off to stop the operation. And we'll go ahead and close down the server as well. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about that process, drop those in the comment section below. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found the video helpful, we really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, if you're interested in purchasing RDS for your company or other Microsoft software at a fraction of the normal cost, check those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.